Greetings people, it's Paul at Green Shore Homestead. I'm going to do a uh, quick summary on our entire off-grid system now that we have it all in place. This is our 7 kilowatt solar array and it is divided into eight or three legs of eight panels. So we've got three legs going into our solar. This is our 1600 watt uh, Falcon turbine. It's a Falcon 3 from Missouri Wind and Solar. This is our Cummins 13 kilowatt whole house generator. We're just using that as a uh, power source for the EG4 charge verter. It is not connected to our breaker panel or our inverter in any way. Okay, this is the heart of the system where all the power comes together. Uh, we've got the Solar 15K, we've got the EG4 battery rack, we got the control panel for the um, turbine, and we got the EG4 charge verter. The um, charge verter, the Solar, and the um, control panel all hooked to the bus bars via cables and um, there was some concern as to whether or not there was going to be some uh, current sharing issues with uh, the three different uh, power systems coming all together on, on the, the bus bars here for the battery rack but uh, it has not been an issue. Um, I've got the displays here on the batteries, I've got the displays on the solar and the, the classic in the charge verter, and um, I haven't had to use the charge verter, but I fired it up, fired up the generator, and ran the charge verter, just to make sure that we weren't going to have any current sharing issues, and, and we haven't. Um, when I run the charge verter, I set it at 60 amps, and um, with the six batteries, I should charge you know each battery at 10 amps. But of course, there's some you know loss there through the wires and the bus bars, so uh, they'll charge between 9.4 and 9.6 amps per battery. And uh, even with the addition of the um, turbine, that didn't change. Um, these three power sources are all playing real nice together. Haven't, haven't had any problems there. I talked with the engineers about it and uh, from each of the companies, and uh, they didn't figure there'd be a problem, but they wanted me to call them back and let, let them know for sure. And so uh, I'll be doing that. <clears throat> but um, the only reason we have the turbine is because in the wintertime, um, when you know the the solar the the solar panels will still put plenty of power through the solar in the winter time if it's if it's a sunny day. Um, the length of the day is not the problem. It's the cloud cover in the winter time that becomes the problem, and uh, we'll get some real heavy cloud cover here in the winter time, and you know especially if it's snowing, you know, and the snow covers the panels. Uh, fortunately, that's the time of the year when the wind is really blowing through here, and you know sitting on a hill hilltop overlooking a floodplain, vast floodplain. Um, we get a lot of wicked wind through here in the winter time, so that sucker ought to be spinning pretty good. And the only job the turbine has is to uh, put power through these cables into the battery bar, uh, into the bus bars to feed the batteries. So uh, when the batteries are full and the turbine's still spinning like a, a big dog, um, that's what the voltage reducer is for. You know, this this control panel is designed to control all that, and it and it will. Uh, the other, you know, the EG4 is here. On those rare days when we're not going to have enough wind to keep the batteries full or at least at an acceptable level of charge and um, we, we aren't getting enough solar, I can fire that generator hooked up to a 500 gallon propane tank and when that tank's full it'll last about seven or eight years because the only other thing that it runs is the uh, stove that my wife cooks on. Uh, seven or eight years is a conservative estimate. So I can just turn the generator on, plug this charge verter in underneath the, cat, the uh, counter there, and then um, it will uh, keep the batteries um, charged up. I can, I can run it for two hours and it will raise the state of charge of the batteries 20%, and that's only using a little less than two gallons of propane. So um, you can see how efficient that is working as well. Uh, it, it, you know, we do have grid still. Um, we went off grid on April 17th. And all I got to do to go back on the grid is flip this up to the on position up here to grid. We haven't done that. The meter said 24207 is what it read on April 17th, and it still reads that. I, I, I like to go out there from time to time and look at it. I don't have an issue with my electric company. I like the guys that work there. Um, it's it's been not there. I haven't had any issues with them at all. I just I have my own personal reasons for wanting to be off grid, and it has nothing to do with my electric company. I like those guys, they're, they're good guys, but I told them, you know, when they started changing the rules on, on the solar panels and when credits were and 
uh, counted and, and peak time and all that stuff, I said, you know, you're forcing me to go off grid. And they, they agreed with me. But anyway, um, when, it, when the time comes, you know, we're going to run with the grid out there for a year, even though we haven't used it, it's there should we need it. You never know what might come up. Um, but after that year, I'm going to call them and say, you know, you can come get your meter and transformer. And I said, if you want to leave it here, that's fine, too. I'm just not going to pay the meter fee anymore. And I think they're probably going to end up leaving it but because I don't know why they would come out and get it. They don't need to. I don't have an issue with them. They don't have an issue with me. But um, that's our, our off-grid system in a nutshell. Uh, you know, the, this this will be kind of a waste of a thousand dollars when the time comes to dis, you know, to to remove the grid from from here. But you know that's the way it goes. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. I, I love talking about this stuff, but I, I'm trying to keep my videos shorter so that you know I don't ramble on too much. So get, hit me with the comments and the questions. I'll, I'll I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time at Green Shark.